Hey everybody, it's Mike Young, lifestyle nutritionist with a plant-based diet.org. Welcome to another chapter of the Live to 150 V book. And this chapter is about surrounding yourself with like-minded people. And the importance of this in order for you to basically live and live in a quality way and live, of course, in a higher quantity, up to 150 way. But quality is even more important because the average person isn't really out there for health. And you know, health is it. Health is the real wealth is health. Without that, you just really don't have anything else. And unfortunately, the average person just doesn't embrace it. So what you need to do, a factor here, is that you need to pick who you're going to hang out with. You need to pick your friends. And, you know, friends are kind of straightforward. Of course, you don't... You're, you're going to become like the five people you hang out with the most. Your friends are generally people that you pick. It used to be when I was growing up, because I'm 52 right now, growing up in the 70s and 80s, you the friends you had were basically where you were geographically, okay? Because you didn't really have any choice. If you're growing up and you have no way to get anywhere, they're the people that are around you. So it back in those days, it was it was really important as to where you grew up because that was going to determine so many things about your life. I don't think that's the same way today because kids growing up today, they're constantly connected to the internet. They're constantly connecting with people online. They're either destroying their lives online or they're improving them. Most people are destroying them, believe it or not. So everybody has an equal opportunity to do bad things, you know, but you also have incredible opportunities to surround yourself with, with people, find your people. If you don't see your people are like, Oh, all the people I know are, they're, they're giving me, they're a bad influence on my lifestyle. They're bringing me down. They don't support anything I'm doing. Well, go online and find some people. We have communities online. Actually, a plant-based diet.org has a great Facebook group with over 5,000 people. It's a worldwide group. We even have local groups. If you go to our website, you can click on the local groups. You can find out what we have, local stuff online without even leaving your house. But again, the, the, the worldwide group is great. Of course, our YouTube channel, which you're watching this on, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. These are the way that you do in the modern world. You, you hang around like-minded people. These are the techniques you do. I'm not talking just old school, let's go. And whoever happens to be sitting next to me, that's who I'm hanging out with. The same thing holds true with your family. A lot of times family is great. They, they love you probably more than anybody else. And they want the best for you probably. But a lot of times that's not the case, either because they really aren't fulfilling their duties as, uh, as a parent should, because the parents are just regular people like you and me. There's all kinds, as we know, there's a variety of people. Some people do things really well. Other people do a really shitty job at things. So that might be your parents. I don't know. Uh, but they also be maybe misled. They may not be informed. They may be closed-minded. We had a chapter uh, earlier on that about being open-minded, the importance of that. And uh, you, know, you may have to distance yourself. This is the reality. And you can, uh, it's okay but you need to be mindful and thoughtful about how you do that, okay? Uh, because there's a lot of different dynamics with family. Family can be one of the greatest things ever, and it can also be one of the biggest hindrances to you doing anything. Because a lot of times, if you think about it, um, and this is important, family here is important to talk about in this chapter because a lot of times you're stuck with your family. It's kind of like the old days. So again, I was growing up in the 70s and 80s. I was stuck with whoever was around the block or I could walk over to in my neighborhood. So where the neighborhood you grew up in was very important. It's going to determine your outcome in life. And that, that was very true. And even in real estate, I'm a realtor. Nothing more important than the local schools. We have to do with the neighborhoods. We have to do with who's living around that area. Things are changing in that regard. are still important, though. But family is fixed. It's like, gosh, this is someone just genetically related to me, or we adopted this child, and they are now in the family. They're a family member. A lot of times, if you don't have very good family members, <clears throat> and you are saying, well, they're my family, I have to do this, I have to do that, which you don't. What's going to end up happening is if you don't have the greatest family members, they are going to be your biggest hindrance. Okay, They're going to trip you up more than anything. And you've got to reflect on this. If you're not sure how this works in your situation, well, then seek some wise counsel because a lot of times people get emotionally wrapped up in these things and they can't quite think straight. And they're like, oh gosh, you know, like from the earliest years, it's my family. I, I don't, you've got to you know, go see somebody, 
see somebody who can look at this in an objective point of view. I cannot be your counselor, although I do offer nutrition coaching, okay? I can help you with that. But with this aspect of it, who you should hang around, especially if it's your family, you've got emotional ties, you're gonna need to see somebody specific to deal with this issue. And this issue could be your biggest hang up with this entire process here of trying to change your lifestyle. So do not underestimate the, the importance of what I'm telling you right here, right now. It could be the difference between failure and success for you. So the takeaways are just remember, you will become like the five people you hang around the most. If the five people you hang around the most are all eating the standard American diet, not exercising, closed-minded, I could go on and on, but you're going to be just like that. And that's, that, that's unfortunately in 2022 what the average person is like. So if you don't do much to kind of cultivate and kind of, um, what's the word, curate your own friendships, you're going to end up hanging around these types of people, or it might be your family, like I said, and you're going to end up being just like them. And if this is important to you, which I hope it is, because it's important not only to you, but for you, if you're enlightened, to set the right example during like this time of awakening that's going on so that you can actually be a positive influence on those family members you have and other things. You've got to do what you've got to do. Uh, you got to make there are hard choices sometimes to make the progress. Okay, progress. And keep in mind, if you are not feeling like you're progressing, you're probably backsliding. You've got to keep the forward progress happen. Nobody stays the same. That's why it's so important to choose who you're spending your time with. I cannot emphasize that enough. So if you like this video, if you're getting some, some value out of it, please, uh, <laughs> please hit that, smash that like button, hit the like button, subscribe, of course. And whatever you do, don't write the name of the person in the comment of the people that you're going to avoid. Although that would be pretty funny. I was just thinking that in my mind, asking people to do that. Uh, don't do that. You can write the name of somebody you'd like to be, you like to hang around actually in the comments and maybe they'll see it and they'll want to hang around you. I don't know. You can do that. Okay. But either way, hopefully this is going to give you some, some good practical advice that's going to help you on your journey. And again, like the video if, if that's what you feel like, and please stay tuned, keep the notifications on so you can get notified each time I release a new video, a new chapter in the book. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.